There is now an epidemic of scandals in government and the Filipinos have no choice but to keep on fighting. This was Senator Miriam Defensor Santiago said in a speech before the annual National Convention of the Philippine Association of Real Estates Board Incorporated in Alabang amid a spate of corruption cases involving ranking government officials. Those guys are thick-skinned. It used to be said in ancient Rome that Caesar's wives must be above suspicion. But today, the criminals in high public office consider themselves to be above suspicion even when testimonial and documentary evidence is presented. And they have no defense but the private charge is allegedly, quote, politically motivated, unquote. I have news for them. Anything that happens in politics is politically motivated. So it is no defense at all. The epidemic includes the throwing of dirty linen against Vice President Jejomar Binay and his family, who have been accused of amassing unexplained wealth and other irregular activities when Binay was still the mayor of Makati City. In all of these, and probably the forthcoming cases, the Fires and Tower lawyers will claim that their clients enjoy the presumption of innocence. Yung ngayon ang bukag libig nitong mga na charge. I am presumed innocent. Ah, really? I repeat. Ignorance can be cured, but stupid is forever. <laughs> when I read the asinine remarks of these cheap lawyers, I'm fully, con I'm fully confident that they possess unparalleled mediocrity. Santiago said if Vice President Jejomar Binay was not guilty, then he should face the Senate and answer all the issues raised against him. Gaya ng sabi lang ng Vice President, hindi ako pupunta dahil walang katotohanan ang sinasabi niya. Ganon ba ang attitude ng tao na nasiraan? Pag siniraan ka ng tao, hindi ba gusto mo suntukin mo na kaagad? Susugurin mo na? At saka ibibigkas mo na sa buong degdig kung ano talaga ang katotohanan? Bakit ayong lumabas yan doon? Anong rason niya? Dahil Hindi naman siya kailangan matakot na pastusin siya. Santiago said the Filipinos are left with no choice but to fight. The Filipino people have no choice. We have to keep on fighting. We have to remain adamant in the belief that good will triumph over evil and that good government will triumph over corruption. This is Julian Love, the Suze of Inquire.net, reporting.